Hello everyone, welcome back to PC Tech Help. My name is Cyber Sorcerer as always. Um, we're going to finally get around to covering Windows Firewall. I know I've been getting some emails from a few people who wanted to go over this. They've had problems for whatever reason. Some of them wanted to do a remote connection and uh, it wasn't working. They're suspecting that Windows Firewall could be the problem and it, that could be that could be possible. But since we do everything in a lesson type format here on PC Tech Help and we're here to teach people, we're going to cover everything about Windows Firewall that we can and make everything simple for everybody. Other people might want to know other things about Windows Firewall, uh, like settings, how to analyze your logs and stuff. And that's what we're going to start out at first is analyzing the Windows Firewall log. You can find the log under the Windows directory. Now I got it open. Let me zoom in here and show you. Mine's under Windows. Dot, it's called pfirewall.log. This here is an old version. Uh, I'm not using my active version that's running because we'd be interrupted uh, every time because you get a warning box that says another program has changed this file. Do you want to save and, blah, 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 and all that stuff? Don't want all that in my recording. But anyway, here, once you open it up, you can see it's quite large. All kinds of stuff in here. And uh, in time, we'll go more in depth into this. This is just a general overview, and you guys can open it up on your own after you watch the video. We'll zoom back in here again, go over the fields. You can see right. Let me get panning here. You can see it's just uh, the date, time, the action, whether it was open, closed, or dropped, the protocol, whether it was TCP/IP or UDP, your source IP, which is the first one right here. The second one is the destination IP. Then we got your source port and destination port. And beside that, you can see these little minuses. That means there was no information available. This would be the, the first one would be the size of the packet and the TCP flags. But it also gives you a heading up here. But it's best to memorize these because when when you're way down here on the bottom, like this right here, and you see these things here. I go, what the heck was that? Uh, what was that again? You need to know these um, so you don't have to scroll ball back up to the top. I like this one right here, the 3161, that would be the TCP window or TCP win. And this here is your TCP at uh, sequence number and your TCP sync sequence number. The A right here is an acknowledgement. This is a fl the, your TCP flags. It will be your A for acknowledgement, R for reset and other ones will go over. The 40 right there is uh, the destination port and this one right here is the source port 11,971. You can see that's quite a big of a high port. You can see 80 is requested quite a bit. 80 is naturally the um, web port or HTTP port. And then uh, after that we well See here's the TCP act TCP win what I showed you about the ICMP type and the ICMP code right there and then info and path. Let's go over info and path here real quick so you're not lost in that. Here's one right here on this entry right here we can see info hyphen events hyphen lost and everything is done except 25 right there. That 25 is the information field. And that's just telling you that there's 25 packets in this group right here that were lost. That's all it's doing. And let's see if we can find some ICMP. Okay right here we have some let me zoom well let me get it right there. That way you can see. Right here we have our ICMP. It tells you right here it's dropped. Um, most of them are dropped uh, Windows firewall drops ICMP packets by default and you can see the destination port the 176 tells you it was 176 bytes in size let me get out a little bit bigger actually we're going to stay in and zoom over a little more then right here is your TCP the first number is your TCP or your ICMP type and the second one is your ICMP code the type three is unreachable that's all that is and the type three code tells you that, that the port was unreachable and there's no port listed 
in these right fields right here which these are the port fields you always have your source IP your destination IP and then your source port and your destination port to match and then the size of the packet would be next so that's just telling you that basically a port the ICMP port was unreachable it was a send packet not too much to worry about uh, right now in your stage of learning uh, but when we get into malware and vulnerabilities and stuff like that uh, we'll be looking into ICMP now we'll uh, do a little investigative technique here just so do look well, when you're going through these naturally you don't want to port 80 you don't want to mess with a whole lot but right here's a destination port there was 1935 and you always want to look for the really really high ones to investigate and I'll show you uh, I'll copy that destination port I mean the destination IP address right there and we'll go into my little tools here we'll see uh, put that uh, IP address in here and we'll see who it actually belongs to if it's anyone that we need to look into oh how about that by just by by chance I don't even know that let me zoom in here and show you guys that was actually Justin TV so for all you people that are watching here on Justin TV that's what that packet was it was the source IP for that was 9975 and the destination IP was 1935 and that was actually closed so let me see how many of these we got Number 133 scrolling through here looks like that was the only one so uh, we kind of weird must have had an issue with that one but anyway you can see how interesting it is sometimes to go through here and uh, check on what's been going on but like I said this is just a short video on uh, firewall log uh, this is part one a lot of people don't know uh, about the firewall log those that do really don't pay much attention to it but as you can see just now it's sometimes it's uh, inquisitive to look into it and see what's happening because a lot of these you don't know about when a, when your firewall drops a packet it doesn't tell you you know it just drops it and then it'll, lo it'll log it if you have logging turned on so anyway we're going to jump over to part two of our windows firewall and get into a little more interesting stuff